。好，谢谢，谢谢邢老师的介绍。Distinguished experts and guests from home and abroad, good afternoon. I would like to share with you uh, what is a surgeon's perspective on focused ultrasound therapy. I am a gynecologist and obstetrician, but I uh, like feature myself as a surgeon as well. For next year, I will celebrate my 30th years of uh, obstetric and gynecology career. No matter which role I took, my daily clinic work is like outpatient surgeries followed by further outpatient visits and surgeries. And the surgical scope varies from procedures ranging from major to minor and difficulty levels varying as well. No matter what kind of surgery they are, we have to introduce the minimum uh, invasive and non-invasive concept, meaning that we should embrace the concept of minimally invasive procedure throughout the whole process. Because of the features, minimum tissue damage, inflammatory re uh, reaction, fast recovery, optimal treatment outcome. What is the uh, top priority, which is to focus on the meaning of the uterus, organ integrity, family attributes, social attributes? And for the benign tumor, what are the absolute surgical indications for gynecological case and the proportion of patients voluntarily choosing hysterectomy? As we have four protections identified by Sir William Osler, protect the organization, organs, functions, and spirit. In our outpatient work, as I am in charge of a general gynecology department, every day I encounter a lot of benign cases. This actually concerns me a lot. For example, repetitive surgery for the uh, uterine fibroids patients, and some patients uh, suffered failure of traditional therapy. Some patients have associated infertility due to uterine fibroids and uh, adenomyosis and the risk of scarred uterine rupture after surgery in the young patients have their fertility needs. So HIFUT, high intensity focused ultrasound therapy, is based on the characteristic of ultrasound wave, such as penetrability, focalization, and energy deposition. It focuses ultrasound beam on the lesion tissue with the instant temperature rising above 60 degrees, leading to cognitive necrosis of the lesion, achieving the therapeutic objective. We have been offered with many new opportunities. I do I do want to enjoy uh, the process myself, and I do have like to have music free to enjoy, coffee free to sip, and enjoy a moment of peace. Can I have a day as a surgeon to enjoy the music and the coffee? It is such an enjoyable process, but in my in imagination. So we have to incorporate the concept of minimally invasive concept. It is a concept, a fundamental concept in surgery, and it is a principal guideline and in medical practice. The treatment path is non-invasive, non-excision, and non-radiation. It doesn't require surgical exposure or puncture guidance, and it is of less pain, light reaction, and quick recovery, and for surgeries, surgeons. We do have many opportunities to expand indications for some tricky and advanced cases, and for example, multiple fibroids, uh, for example, re reduced medical surgical complications, the history of multiple operations, and also we can reduce the rate of hysterectomy. And some patients even have strong desire of uterine preservation. And for high intensity focused ultrasound, it can precisely ablate uterine uh, fibroids and adenomyosis by focused ultrasound. It also can protect 
The endocrine function shortened the post-treatment contraceptive period to buy time for older women. It offers a greater possibility for patients to preserve their uterus and fertility. Those are the two papers. One enrolled 74 patients with uterine fibroids undergoing MRGFS. And uh, pre-treatment, EMH is not significantly statistically. And the difference was not statistically significant at the location of myoma or the treatment energy the population induced in this study was not associated with changes in ovarian function. And afterwards, the EMH level was not significantly different. Another case has enrolled 14 research uh, reports. It is like a meta review. We can see that just uh, one fetus uh, was reported that among uh, more than 100 cases. In general, 36% of pregnancy rate, 91% of the fetus got live birth. And among the 50 cases, 26 pregnancies have been reported reaching 52% and a mean interval of 10 months between HIFU and a pregnancy. And there were among 14 patients, 12 live births have been reported in the laparoscopic resection group. There was no significant difference in the incidence of placenta, previa, postpartum uh, hemorrhage, and a premature rupture of membranes and the fetal distress between the two groups. The biggest challenge is the uh, mentality, even for surgeons. For surgeons, we change our personality due to our work. We speak loudly and decisively. We make the surgery clean and precise. And sometimes our language is simple and even crude or even concise. Somebody said, yes, you want to give birth. After giving birth, you will go into through menopause and uterus for having a body and a menstrual menstruation should be normal. For people aging 30 to 40 years old, they might have different needs than the other senior groups. So with the high intensity ultrasound, we have more choice. It is possible to have one more choice and one more treatment option. So for surgeons, the understanding towards the high intensity focused ultrasound is different from doctors and patients. In the doctor's eye, surgical treatment is first choice. For HIFU, it is one more treat treatment option for patients who are not eligible for surgery or unwilling to undergo surgery. And it can also solve many practical issues that cannot be solved by conventional therapy. And the re-intervention after HIFU treatment increases the difficulty of surgery. It is the viewpoint of surgeries. And from the shoes of patients, their awareness is like HIFU is just like a sexual therapy. It should be non-invasive and non-painless. And after the HIFU is done, whether uh, the disease is fully recovered and healed. So there is a gap of understanding between the surgeon and uh, the patients. And for surgeon, the biggest challenge is communication and education for the patients. Of course, HIFU works immediately, and there is like immediate uh, absorption of necrotic lesion and symptom relief may take some time. It takes a lot of communication with the patients before the high food treatment. And we should establish a follow-up system and encourage the patients to contact the uh, surgeon and doctors for follow-ups. 
And we can educate the patient that uh, when you experience menopause, the symptoms should be relieved, and all the relevant information should be thoroughly communicated before the treatment and follow-up should be done after uh, the treatment. So the second challenge being enough patients. Sometimes we need to do fast. We want to do the abdo uh, anatomical uh, incision. We want to cut the lesion, get it out, get it suture on. So there have to be a lot of uh, focuses. For example, we want to uh, make more patient work for the different procedures. So for example, establish a safe acoustic pathway, select appropriate treatment intensity to reduce complications. And it takes some sense of accomplishment when gradually relieve the symptoms and also cut off the lesion and uh, sew them up. But for most of the surgeons, it is like a torture to endure such a long and a tedious process. We just want to make it quick. We want to make the surgery to just get it quickly over with. It is kind of contradiction uh, with the way we used to work and the way it should be working. Another challenge for surgeons is the uh, Pathological mechanism. What would be the standard of care, golden care standard? We need to assess the disease by imaging clinical symptoms, uncertain tumor markers, and pathology has always been the gold standard for diagnosis. You know, careful assessments before the treatment should be done and close follow-up are re required. Without pathological report, it would lead to issue and concern, and even patient-doctor conflict. For some patients, close follow-up is of great necessity. For example, this case of leomyoma with uncertain of being malignant or benign. It's difficult to tell. And another two cases, this is a 36-year-old patient. Six years ago, uterine uh, fibroids of one centimeter were found in physical examination. And 6.6 uh, .6 times 7.3 times 6.5 centimeter of uh, fundus of the uterus. No MR has been performed at that time. We have done a positioning. We found that the uterus is against the wall. It is very difficult to establish a safe pathway. So we have given three injections of GHA. And uh, we reckon, we diagnosed this patient with uterine fibroids, uh, fibroids during the uh, high full, high intensity focused ultrasound ablation. It indicated that retroverted urine fundus myoma was very deep, could not establish very safe acoustic channel. And this patient was very young. Uh, this is another case, 39 years old. Uh, menstruation was irregular and the volume was moderate. We found that there was uh, 84 times 79 millimeter uterine fibroids in the physical body checkup. And we found that focused ultrasound localization suggests the presence of leftward uh, fibroids, abdominal wall thickness, T2 signal were mixed, and that there is a high desire of the patient to do the high full. So, past history, this patient has experienced a laparoscopic myomectomy in 2016. So, high full therapy was performed on November 23, 2022. The irradiation time was 1,067 seconds. The ablation factor was poor, and the treatment was interrupted after communicating with the patient and his family. When reviewing the previous surgical pathology, we found that the uterine leomyoma consistent with cellular leomyoma with three out of 10 mitotic figures. So after that, we have total four needles. And this patient said, I still want to do ultrasound. This is a very persistent 
mind. Uh, due to the previous history, I dare not to do that. I suggested surgery, and I was uh, pondering whether the way we should cut off the uterus or cut off the fibroids. And the, later on, we decided to cut off the fibroids, and the fibroids we took out is very soft and pathologically we diagnose it as a um, pathological results uh, we can see that this patient is very clear of uh, its anatomy. We know where is the anterior wall of uterus. We use the uh, focused ultrasound to identify the location. Sometimes people are blinded. We need to be able to see it to treat it. So for surgeons, if there's a lack of imaging knowledge or technique, it is very torturous for the surgeons. And also, there are a lot of factors affecting on the detenuation. For example, fat, uh, body size. And uh, from our mindset, we should first be patient. Secondly, it takes learning curve to master different relevant techniques. And there are a lot of unique advantages of surgeons for surgeons. On the one hand, a surgeon learned high food treatment, uh, who can offer patients a wider range of treatment options based on their individual condition circumstances. If the patient is not eligible for high food, we should reduce the patient's repeated visit to the doctor to shorten and optimize the process in conjunction with the surger, surgery. And for surgeons, performing high food treatment can combine it with surgical treatment, providing additional scientific research data. For Peking Union Hospital, we have from three to five years since last year, finally, we performed uh, the high food technique. And there has been a lot of twists and turns, ups and downs. Starting from last August now, until now, we have performed 200 cases, 118 cases of hysteromyoma, 82 cases of adenomyosis, with no adverse uh, major adverse re events. And uh, we have established a safety profile with 100% uh, of satisfaction rate of patients. So for this, I give credit to Professor Wang Zhibiao and his team for the support to our hospital. And those are the feedbacks from the patients, which I'm proud of. Uh, patients are very happy. These are the first batch of my patients. When they come for follow-up, they give me a, a handout flyer. He said, you can save a lot of words and hard work by sending out this flyer and handout paper. This prompted me to think, uh, what is the long-term outcome for the patient? I really don't want to see them come back again and again. I really hope our uh, efficacy and outcome should work for the longer terms of the patients. This is a 42-year-old uh, female. Menstruation was uh, usually regular. And this is a 104 times 116 times 99 millimeter anterior uh, wall. And there has been indicator of 10.6 points times 10.5 times 9.1 anterior wall myoma. This patient come to me because she has a fertility needs. Consult me of the next treatment plan. The other case is 26 year old uh, people from Xinjiang. Uh, the patient showed a solid mass of one. 132 times 166. And uh, the first ultrasound ablation was performed, but the effect was poor. And what's the preferred treatment next? So I think it is always a balance to make. And the patients, when making the right choice, should be fully uh, 
consulting the patients, the family, and the families should be well informed. Doctors should have a clear understanding of their clinical experience, capability, as well as their technical competency. So when making the choice, we should be focused on the advantages and stay away from our disadvantages and focus on our strong suit. And uh, we should break through our ideas. There's not the best solution, but there's always a superior solution. To summarize, it is the most appropriate and wise choice when the four factors are fully integrated. It is featured by clarity, consensus, and standardization. And HIFU is a minimally invasive treatment technology, which has a certain technical advantages. And we should screen the patients eligible for HIFU and to maximize their benefits. So our goal is to improve symptom relief, improve the quality of life, to reduce the reintervention rate, and to find the most eligible groups for HIFU. So going forward, I will continue to change my roles from uh, surgical surgeons to high food surgeon. And I hope our department uh, will be the most shiny and uh, the most uh, uh, low one. Passion withstands the test of time, while gentleness conquers hardship.